to be sunnah, keep clean. Yeah, the Prophet ﷺ encouraged shaking hands with Muslims, but I suppose it's clean hands, eh? Yeah, clean hands. Clean hands. What is this Islam and Sunnah we follow? And we take these things for granted. You go around in masjid and see. You talking to a brother and so nice he's digging his toenail. And I say, Assalamu alaikum brother, have a nice day. I'm like, I know I'm going to have a very bad day with that toenail you just passed on you. You got to start walking in a masjid with gloves. No, as Muslims, we need to demonstrate a lot of hygiene. Don't wait for a disease to hit. You could prevent it. Some people, they sneeze. Islam, the Prophet Sallallahu teaches us to sneeze. Someone sneezes, Alhamdulillah. It's a blessing. But a lot of germs come out. That's why you say Alhamdulillah. Because you are now blessed. You are cured that a lot of germs came out. But the only thing is you just sprayed it on this brother. Why you have this? You don't sneeze in your palms. A lot of people cough. Uh, Why well, you don't cough in your palms? Cough here. Sneeze here. Cause you know cough in your palms, and then you go and shake a brother's hand. I stuck for a lot. What, what is that? Which Islam are we following? No, this is not Islam. And, and the topic today is about this coronavirus and disease. We as Muslims, we in the first khutbah and before some of you came, we were talking on the spiritual aspect, Quran, Sunnah, how we must have that iman and faith. But in addition, the Sunnah teaches us how to be hygienic. Wash your hands before you eat. Yeah. I go to a restaurant, I see one guy shakes everybody's hand and then he takes the bread and put it in his mouth. I'm like, la, ha, la, 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 la. what am I seeing? Come on. And everybody do that. A lot of people do it, not everybody. A lot of non-Muslims do that too. Yeah. Make wuzu regularly. In times like this, at all times the Prophet says, encourage us to always be in wuzu. Yeah. Brush your teeth regularly. Because your mouth can have germs and you can pass it on. Brush it regularly. Don't only wait for when you get up for five times salah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to brush his teeth every time he get up from sleep. Every time he prayed, he said, I would have made brushing your teeth furs. But because I did not have the authority to make it furs, I could not make it furs. He would have made brushing the teeth furs like how our salah is furs. That's how important he considered hygiene. Mm -hmm. So are we really following these things in Islam? Sometimes you're in a motor car. Everybody, the family is in the car, the glasses up, and a, pan -out! a sneeze, a cough. I'm like, oh Allah. People who sit with me in a car, every time a person sneezes, I wind down the glass. They probably wonder what am I doing? AC or no AC? I just wind it down. Let that thing get out. But in the first place, why do you have to just spray it off? That's not Islam. That's not the characteristics of a good hygienic Muslim. What Islam are we learning? Do we study the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The man who said, and the is this fully man, cleanliness is half of faith, very clean, very hygiene, very hygienic. That's the kind of Islam. We were taught by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.